Let's start with the very first registration, typically when a new subscriber turns on a smartphone with a brand new SIM card. The G Node B sends out a system information broadcast, which allows the user equipment to detect the G Node B. Network access registration starts with a random access preamble from the UE to initiate a radio connection. During the random access procedure, the G Node B cell will allocate a radio network temporary identifier, RNTI, to uniquely identify the UE in the cell. The RRC setup establishes a non-protected signaling bearer to the UE to relay non-access stratum signaling between the UE and the core network. The user equipment has no 5G globally unique temporary identifier, so it sends its SUCI in a registration request message, which is not cryptographically protected. It is important to note that during the first part of these exchanges, security protocols have not been established yet. The user equipment and the core network are exchanging pre-authentication traffic, which is not cryptographically protected. This is why it is important to not send the subscription permanent identifier, SUPI, but send the SUCI instead. The SUCI is deciphered by the home network and used to find the subscription permanent identifier and retrieve the subscription data and authentication credentials, so that the authentication procedure can be carried out. After successful authentication, the core network allocates a globally unique temporary identifier to the user equipment.